What's up, everyone? Welcome back to vlog number 13. I'm hungry, so uh, let's get to cooking. basic pasta and I thought I had a lot more sauce than I did but I only had like about like a fourth of that little container left so don't have much sauce on it but it still looks pretty good and I have enough for like two lunches or so tomorrow so that's pretty good then I'll just have this little uh, peach mango body armor as well with it but I'm gonna eat this get cleaned up and then I'll probably show you guys what I got for Christmas because I got some really cool things and then I ended up buying a really cool comic today so I'm gonna get this eaten and I'll catch you guys upstairs so yeah all right, I totally forgot to mention, but I put Parmesan cheese on it as well. I just have like a little bit, and then I also have the garlic bread that I made, but just sitting here watching TikTok, and that was it. So, see you guys upstairs. All right, I am now up in my room. I ended up being able to make three containers, which is honestly pretty good, and they're pretty full, so that'll last me probably the rest of the week. But I want to show you guys what I got for Christmas in that new comic, so I'm going to get you guys set up on my tripod, and then I'll start showing you. Room's kind of a mess, so bear with me. Also, really do need those shells, but I'll get to that eventually, and I kind of move some stuff around because I'm starting to kind of build my collections and stuff, but I just have no room for it. So I'm going to have to slow down, especially going into 2023. But I'll probably get some goals going here pretty soon, start writing that down. Maybe even show you guys what I have planned and what I want to do. So, yeah, let's get you guys on the tripod, and then I'll start showing you. Boom. Okay, you guys are on the tripod. Also, got to mention, I finally got my chain back. It was getting fixed, and hopefully it's nice and clean, but I was really missing it, and I felt super naked in the gym without it, because it just feels so weird when I'm not wearing... I've been wearing a necklace since, like, second grade, so... I've always had one in my life and I just like have to be wearing something so super happy to have that back but now I want to show you guys the Christmas presents um first thing first is I got some vinyls which I kind of want to start collecting vinyls and then my girlfriend also got me a turntable but we had to return it we have some problems with it but we're gonna go pick out a new one and get that this weekend so I'm excited to get that and kind of try listening to music through a vinyl like through a turntable because I think that'll be pretty cool and then also just be able to display the vinyls but the first one is the spider-man one it's pretty cool and it's just like the spider-man no way home um soundtrack and it looks really cool for display though so i'll probably take it out of this and then just put it up on my wall because i think it looks really cool and then i also got two other ones which the first one is tickets to my downfall this album actually means quite a bit to me i used to listen to it in college with my roommates and we listened to it a lot especially at, like every party and just everything we did together this was usually playing so it means a lot. I really like this album. I know a lot of people don't like MGK, but just this is something else, so that's why I like it. And then the last one, which is a really, really sick one, is Stony, 
which is uh, Post Malone's like kind of first main album, but super awesome. It looks super sick. And then they're like pretty, they're, they're like orange vinyls. I should make this slip it out really quick. Not gonna be able to, but super sick and love to add this one. I'm definitely gonna be listening to this one because that's some of my favorite songs of all time on it. And then next is I am 22. I look a little young sometimes, but this is probably gonna be my little New Year's celebration drink, which is some the Don Julio. It's not their like super expensive one, but it looks good, and I'm excited to try it and see how it tastes. So yeah. Next we have the I love the Funko Pops, and this is like one I've actually really been wanting. So it is Aang in the Avatar state with all the elements around him. There's a lot of like really cool details, like you can see the scar on his back and stuff, but super sick. It looks really cool, so love to add this one. I love displaying them out of the box. I hate, I don't like having them in the box, especially because they just take up space, so I already have him like out on my table. And then this is kind of a random one, but I was really wanting it and my girlfriend grabbed it for me when I wasn't paying attention, but it was at like a little farmer's market and it's this little knife. It looks super sick. Not sure what I'm gonna do with it. Probably just, just display it because it looks pretty cool. I love the materials it was made out of. I can't quite remember what they are, but they're pretty cool. Cool to handle. It's not super sharp, but I mean, it's more for display anyways. And then maybe opening some packages or something, but yeah, looks cool. And then next are the two comics. First one I'm gonna show you is one my mom got me, and then the second one I'll show you is the one I went and got myself today. But I've really been wanting this one, and I love the cover. It's probably my top like favorite Amazing Spider-Man cover that is out there, which is Amazing Spider-Man 40, which is the origin of the Green Goblin. Hope you guys can see that really good, but it's a super awesome cover. Like all the colors just pop on it. The flames, Green Goblin down there, Spider-Man just towering over him. Looks super sick. Super happy to add this one. This is definitely gonna be one that goes on my wall. I won't be able to put all of them on my wall, but this is one that it's a must, so yeah. And then the one I got today, this is probably on my top comic books that I had wanted to buy. Like, it was like top on my list, and I didn't think I was gonna be getting it till next year. So to walk into my comic shop and see this, I was like, I had to get it. So I ended up getting it. I paid $2.50, which I think was a pretty good deal for this. And I had just been eyeing it like super hard, like especially on eBay and stuff. So to get it and add it to end 2022 is, that was pretty good. So it is Secret Wars number eight. It's a super like um, sought after comic book right now. There you go. Cause it is the symbiote's or black suit's first appearance. It wasn't quite the symbiote yet, but it was the black suit's first appearance in comics. And as we know, Tom Holland's probably gonna be rocking that suit here pretty soon. And maybe even in Secret Wars, the movie. So we'll see, but awesome comic. It was in a 9.4. So that's actually probably my highest grade I have now. And what better comic to add than have this one. Cool cover as well. Love all the characters that you see in the back, but Spidey's just popping right there. So love it. But that was all my like kind of recent pickups. And I mean, these two alone were just made my like whole day. They're, these are awesome. Love to add these. Can't wait to like finally display them and actually do something with them because those just deserve to just be up on the wall. But I'm not sure what all I have planned. I'm gonna go hit some legs tomorrow and definitely gonna be recording that. But that is gonna be for a separate non-vlog related video. And then I'm gonna probably take my girlfriend out to a nice dinner and do a few other cool things this week. So. We'll see, but right now I'm gonna get heading to the gym for a push day. I'm thinking about recording a TikTok, so I'm probably just gonna have my camera in there and I talk to you guys while I'm in the gym. But let's go down and get my pre-workout taken and get heading to the gym. Workout is all stirred up and then I have a banana so I'm gonna down these and then get heading to the gym like I said it's gonna be a pull day and I'm just gonna be recording a TikTok, so I will kind of talk to you guys a little bit but it won't be like the like usual how I do in the gym so I'm gonna finish these and get going oh wait Alright, I just got warmed up. I did 14 minutes of cardio, which is a lot more than I usually do, but I kind of just made this little turf area to open up too, to just like to make sure people are out of the way and not recording other people too, but just did a little bit of cardio, and right now I'm doing pull-ups, so i kind of show you guys actually this area. I never really showed you, but it's just this little upstairs area that we have, 
and usually just set up and do a lot of my stuff up here because usually no one's up here and just out of people's way and make it kind of easy, as easy as possible, especially when I'm talking and it's a lot quieter as well. So gonna bang these out and then I'll head downstairs, but kind of gonna have to record vertical for like TikTok and Instagram stuff. So might get you guys, might not, but we'll see. But so far I feel pretty good. I also did that deloading um, thing last week that I mentioned in the vlog and that worked wonders. So I definitely recommend if you guys are kind of at a plateau, try doing a deload week and maybe just look it up. I'm not gonna, I haven't done it myself too much, so I'm not just gonna kind of give you guys false information, but it's it definitely works, so I would give it a try if you want. And yeah, let's get after the rest of this workout, so. All right, I just finished that workout. I thought I got some pretty damn good shots, so definitely go check out that video once I get it posted. It's probably gonna be on my TikTok or Instagram, but be sure to check it. I think it's gonna, I think it'll turn out really good, so. But I'm about to head home, get some snacks, and then go straight to bed. It is currently 11.30, so a little bit later than I wanted, but I have to kind of stay a little bit if I want to get some good shots for the video. But let's get heading home because it's a little cold out here. <sighs> All right, I'm back home. I made my little post-workout meal, which is a protein shake. My brother actually got me for Christmas just some rice protein powder. It is the vanilla peanut butter flavor. It, I tried, I mixed it with chocolate milk yesterday and it tasted like the aftertaste was a little weird because I think it'd be better with just regular milk, but I just, I'm going to try it with water today, but it is actually pretty good and I think it'd be good in like, kind of like smoothies or milkshakes, then I'll just have like a cutie and color goldfish. Um, pretty basic little post-workout snack, but finish this and then go straight to bed because it is currently 11.40, so I want to get to sleep so I can make sure I'm giving my body enough rest. Probably chug a little water too, but could you guys, probably most likely on Friday because tomorrow is going to be that other video I'm filming, so could you guys Friday when I am off work? Peace. Hi everyone, it's been a couple of days. I'm currently in my mom's like little home gym, as you guys can kind of see, but it's just been a few days. I ended up not recording. I went on the date with my girlfriend, had a really nice steak dinner, kind of expensive bill, it was like $200, but well worth it. And you know, we've kind of just been having fun. It was New Year's, so I have like some New Year's resolutions I wanted to share with you guys before I end the video. And then I also finally got my last final, which is the highs. I went to this concert in Salt Lake, and then I also kind of want to show you guys the vinyl inside because this album I really like. I listened to it a lot in college and then getting it here in like live in person was pretty cool. But it's this like cool blue color as you guys can see. I thought it looked really good. Can't wait to play this one on the uh, turntable once I get that because I think it'll sound really good. And it's also just an album I love. So happy to add that one. This is probably it for vinyls for right now until I find like a few more I like. And then as far as my goals go, I have this little uh, notebook I bought at Barnes and Noble and I wanted to use it and kind of start writing in, into it in 2023 because I want to start writing down my goals and even like video ideas and just stuff like that because I like having them written down. I think it means a lot more to me versus just putting it in my phone notes. So that's just personally something I like to do, especially when I was like, when I was playing baseball, I'd write down like all the goals and then like you have to write down how you want to achieve them and how you're just gonna make them happen because if you're not, then it's just like a blank goal because you're not really putting um, it into action when you're writing down how you're gonna do it. So I'm just gonna show you guys some of the ones I wrote down. I just wrote down like six basic ones and then three points for each one and how I'm gonna do it. So just kind of how it looks right here. But the first one was save more money. So my plan is to meal prep a little more this year, spend less on comics, and then I'm gonna start depositing a little bit into my savings account from every paycheck I get at work. My next one was to grow my YouTube. So I plan on trying to get two videos a week, which it'll be hard with the work schedule, but I'd rather push myself. I like to set my goals a little higher, so I'm pushing myself because if I just said one video a week, I could easily do that and that's like, I need to push myself. So doing two, it's like, if I only get one video, I'm still happy with it, but if I push for two and I get two, then that's something I'd be really be proud of. Next one is getting a thousand subscribers and improving my editing on my videos. So again, that's just under the grow YouTube category. My next one was comics. So my goal is just one to two a month, like $150 limit, and then maybe potentially getting into selling them just to get my money back and kind of just keeping that hobby going. Next one is gym gains, which is a probably a big one. And 
like it's gonna be big for my channel which is i want to squat 405 my squat numbers have been a little low but i want to get them up to where i think they should be which is around the 405 range i want some bigger i want bigger boobies <laughs> i want to grow my chest it's like the one thing i really think is lacking in like my physique so i'm gonna work on that i really want a bigger chest and just keep growing it and then I kind of get the body fat down in the summer. Like I want to get big, kind of bulk a little in the winter and then kind of just cut in the summer and get a little smaller, kind of get the veins going, get the abs looking good for a little summer bod. Next thing I put was just my girlfriend's name. And then I won't share that one, but I put like a few points of how I want to be a better boyfriend for her and just how I can grow and be a better man because your goal should kind of reflect all aspects of life and not just one thing. The, and then the last one I put was my career, which I have, I want to hit one year at the current job I'm at and then maybe even like start working towards a promotion or just growing it as my career. I don't want to just be like stagnant with where I'm at right now and get comfortable. I want to keep pushing myself to grow my career because that's also an important part of my life. So all these are kind of just things that are important to me and how I just want to keep furthering them as I go into 2023. But I think having them written down is really crucial. It's just something that I've always really liked. But that's about it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. This was my first like non-vlog without a gym video. But next week, not sure what I'll plan. I think I wanna kinda do like the vlog and separate like tip video again, if you guys like that. But that's just something I really like. And then I'm also gonna start hammering out like the TikTok and Instagram content because I saw that was doing pretty good and I wanted to help like boost my channel so I can start making better videos and just keep growing with you guys. So hope you guys enjoyed. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, bye.